everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back to another video. So I promised you guys I would give an update on how my Calypso Supreme is recovering from her mealybug treatment. If you guys missed that initial video, I will leave it linked up in the cards and also down in the description box. So definitely check that out. But today actually makes exactly one week since her initial treatment process. So I'm going to go in and see if I see any mealybugs. I have been checking her um, just periodically throughout the week and I haven't noticed anything on her so we'll see what we find today I haven't checked in about a couple days so let's take a look through her stems first and just at an initial glance I don't see anything with my naked eye I'm just doing the top few stems here first and then let's see on her undersides of her leaves It's kind of tricky because all of these spots are actually her variegation coming through the leaf. So sometimes I think it's a mealybug and it's not really a mealybug. It's just a variegation spot. But so far looking good. Let's see what these stems are looking like. I don't think that that spot right there is a, actually that might be a mealybug. I think it is a baby mealybug. So that must have been an egg that I missed somewhere. Ooh, I do see a couple more down here on her stems at the base. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. So there's one there, chilling. And then, I don't know if I can get back here, but there's also one right there at the top. Can y'all see that? So yeah, we are gonna go back in with our Q-tip process. I'm not gonna do the full drenching and all that other stuff I did. I'm just going to hit the mealybugs that I see with my eye with a alcohol q-tip and then I'm going to spray her down with some neem and water. Oh here's another one. One there. Can you guys see that? Oh wait let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Y'all see that right there? There's another mealy. So they're very small so to me that says that these are babies that have maybe just recently hatched or that I just missed. I did notice maybe like two days after her initial treatment, I did notice that, I don't know if you can see this here, this camera angle is kind of tricky, but you see how this kind of like folds inward? There were some mealybugs that were down inside that crevice, so I had to get my brush and go in and clean those out of there. So I'm assuming that's where these are coming from. So let me go ahead and get my alcohol and my Q-tip and just wipe her down really quick. All right, y'all, the challenge is real. Let's see if I can film this with my left hand. I am so not ambidextrous. Get you off of there. Can y'all see that? Really gross. Ugh. Okay, so let me give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. So, do you see that white spot there? That's what I mean by they hide inside the crevices and the folds of the leaves. So I'm gonna get that one out. There's also one inside of this stem here, which I don't think it's gonna focus, let's see. Yeah, it's not working, but it's one in there too. So that is why I say you need to repeat this process weekly. Other bugs and eggs will hatch that you missed. So you want to make sure that you're checking your plant consistently and staying on top of the mealybug so that it doesn't turn into a full infestation like before. So I'm going to go ahead and treat these two. All right, so all of her leaves have been wiped down with neem. I did also hit her stems with some neem as well. So hopefully that will seep down into any cracks and crevices that I may have missed. You guys, this is why it's so important to repeat this process weekly. It's never just a one and done process. You have to keep up on the treatments to stay on top of any extra eggs or larvae that may still be in the soil if you did not repot or also hiding anywhere in the plant. So I did also pull these few stems off. These were stems that I cut last week. I just cut the leaf off that had a lot of mealybug damage. I left the stems and waited till they turn completely yellow. I pulled those off just to hopefully eliminate any other spaces that they could be hiding in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this little check-in has been helpful. I'll be back next week with another update. Okay, so it is now week three since I did the initial treatment. So let's take a look and see 
if we see any mealies. And Jensen's going to assist us. What's in your hair, baby? Here you go. Okay, let's see. So I am Jensen. Jensen, baby. I'm trying to film a video. I will snuggle with you in a minute, okay? Just let me finish. He gets so mad when I don't give him attention. Okay, so let's take a look here. Ooh, I see a mealy. Do y'all see that? Right there in the back. Okay, so there's one. Jensen. Really? Really? I love you too, boo boo. Hey, girl. Okay, anywho, so I have one that I need to take care of. Let's see what else I see. And I'm basically going to look at the undersides. Jensen. Let me come back after I give him some attention, y'all. Okay, I'm back. So, seriously? <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. I had to put them in their room. So, I am officially back now. And let's just take a deeper look at the stems. I think that might be one down there as well. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit these with my cotton swab and also I'm going to do another spray drench to try and get these ones that are still popping up. These are probably eggs that were somewhere in the crevices. So yeah, this is why I say it's never a one and done process. So I just finished doing my manual removing of all the mealybugs that I could see with my eye and I did come across three what I would consider adult mealybugs. They were larger um, and as soon as I saw those three I was like oh no there has to be more and lo and behold yes I did find maybe like 10 to 15 tiny little white specks which are baby mealing bugs um, which tells me that I missed some eggs somewhere at some point. So again, you guys, this is why I tell you to check your plant every few days or so and repeat this process weekly. So I've removed all of the ones that I could see. I'm sure there are probably still some lurking somewhere because they're, they're tiny little specks, you guys. Any white that I saw, which of course it's really hard to tell because some of these spots are actual variegation spots of the leaves, um, but any just tiny white raised spot, I just hit it with my little alcohol swab. So. I am going to go now and hit the undersides, the tops of her leaves, and also her stems. I'm also going to spray the soil very well with some uh, spray mix. You guys know I do the alcohol, water, and dish soap concoction. If you guys have not seen me do my debugging process, I'll leave some links down in the description box so you can check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spray her, and that's pretty much going to be it for this week three recap, and I'll be back with week four. Okay, you guys, so we are back with week four of my mealybug treatment on this Aglaonema Calypso Supreme I have here. And basically, y'all, what I've been doing is checking on this plant literally every single day. I come over here with my cotton swab and my alcohol and just manly remove any mealybugs that I see. And I've actually been seeing quite a few, you guys. It hasn't been just like one or two. It's been more like 10 to 15, maybe even 20 some days. And it's always just the really, really tiny, small little specks, which tells me that those are the babies hatching there's still some eggs in here somewhere so i am going to go in with another spray treatment tonight i did also just water this plant yesterday gave it a nice drink um, so that i can do a soak as well i don't want it to damage the roots at all and risk it taking up anything that could potentially be harmful to the roots which my mixture is not really like harsh or anything i just want to be super safe um, so i will be drenching the soil as well today but off gate just doing a quick overview I already see some mealybugs sitting on these leaves. Do y'all see that sitting right there? Right there in the middle on the stem, there's a mealybug there. Um, it is almost like midnight right now, um, and mealybugs do come out. They're more active at night, so we're going to do some mealybug hunting. 
Millie's come out at night. The Millie's come out at night. The Millie's come out at night. Ooh, y'all, that is so gross. Let me go get my cotton swab and my spray together. All right, you guys, I've got my mixture all ready to go to do my soil drench. In here, I just mixed up some water, neem oil, a little bit of dish soap to help the water mix with the oil, and then also a little bit of alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this all over the soil, let it drain, and I do have a little plastic tray in here for it to catch the runoff. And then I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle and just hit the stems really, really well. Make sure I'm covering everything, getting it into little crevices of these leaves. Um, you guys, I don't think I mentioned this before, but Millibug's life cycle is anywhere from seven to 10 weeks. And we are now only on week four, which is why I'm still seeing Millibug. So again, it's not a one and done process. You can't just miss your plant or hose down your plant and think that it's over with. It's a long process. It takes a lot of patience and diligence and persistence, but I promise you, I'm gonna give you guys another four week update after this, and we're gonna see if there's any mealybugs on this plant. So let me go ahead and get to work. All right, you guys, so she is fully sprayed down. She's fully drenched as well. Still soaking and draining some fluid out. But I am just gonna let her sit overnight, let it air dry, and then I'll come back and wipe down her leaves and stems thoroughly with my microfiber cloth. Um, but yeah, this pretty much concludes my four week update. I'm very pleased with the progress that she's making. She's actually pushed out a few new leaves as well while she's still battling Millibugs, you guys. This one down here is new, as well as a couple of these leaves in here are also new. So she's still doing great. She looks great. She's not showing any signs of stress or anything. I haven't had any additional leaves, yellow or brown or crisp or anything. So I think she's doing well. I will keep you guys updated. I probably won't do a week to week update as I did here. I'll probably just give you an eight month update once the eight weeks have passed and let you know how she's doing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys to see this process and to understand that it's not just a one and done treatment. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more from me. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Peace.